Hello dear students. In the sequence of Henkel transform, we will discuss today the Percival's theorem for Henkel transform. So let us start the proof of the Percival theorems of Henkel transform. Here is proof. This is the statement of the Percival theorems of Henkel transform. If f b of p and g v of p are the Henkel transform of the function f x and g x respectively, then 0 to infinity x of f x g x d x equal to 0 to infinity p of f v p g v p d p. So this is the statement of the Henkel uh, Percival theorems of Henkel transform. Now proof is very simple. As usual, we start from the definition of Henkel transform. So we have f v of p equal to zero to infinity x of j v of p x f x d x. This is equation number one. f v of p equal to zero to infinity x of j v of p x f x d x and g v of p equal to zero to infinity x of j v of p x g x d x. This is the integral part of f v of p. The result is zero to infinity x of j v of p x f x d x and similarly j v of p equal to zero to infinity x of j v of p x d x g x d x. By the definition we have the result f v of p and g v of p. Now let us take the result from RHS 0 to infinity p of f v of p g v of p d p. So re result becomes 0 to infinity p f v of p as it is. Now putting the value of g v of p g v of p is 0 to infinity x of j v of p x f x d x. So put here the value of g v of p by equation 2. Now by interchanging the order of integrations by changing the uh, order of integrations we get 0 to infinity as it is x of g x outside of now the second integration becomes 0 to infinity f v of p p of j v of p x d p and overall d x. So the first integration with respect to d x and the second integration with respect to d p. So the first integration as it is 0 to infinity x of g x and we know that by the inversion theorem of a Henkel transform, this is 0 to infinity f v of p, p of j v of p x d p becomes equal to f x. So, this part of result 0 to infinity f v of p, p of j v of p x d p becomes equal to f x. So, the final result becomes 0 to infinity x of gx fx dx by using the inversion theorem of Henkel transform. So we get 0 to infinity x of fx gx dx. So this is the right hand side. Sorry, this is the left hand side. So the this is the proof of Percival theorems of Henkel transform. Thank you.